Hi there, I'm Phoebe and welcome to my vlog. Today I'm going to be speaking about digital divides, in particular the divide between developed countries and Africa. Enjoy! <music> Digital divides refers to the gap between countries or groups that have access to information and communication technologies to those who have limited or no access at all. Information and communication technologies are also known as ICTs. Examples of ICTs include smartphones, computers, televisions, the radio and so on. ICTs allow us to connect with people from around the world and also allow us to gather information that keeps us informed about what is going on around us. Developed countries such as Australia have extensive access to information and communication technologies in which information is very easily accessible in most cases. Countries such as Africa unfortunately are on the other end and do not have equal or if any access to the global information space. This can be described as information poverty where developing countries have limited skills, materials and abilities to access information. In Gabri Michael and Jackson's 2006 case study, they state that equitable access to information is one of the most vital principles in the emerging global economy, which is why it is important that measures are being taken to bridge the gap between developed countries and Africa's ICT space. The African government have created huge projects in Kenya and Ghana in order to become a part of the global information and communication space. In 2013, the construction of Konaz Techno City took place in Kenya. According to Konaz Technopolis, Konaz will be a sustainable world-class technology hub and major economic driver for Kenya. Furthermore, Konaz will be a smart city where an urban information and communication technology network is set up and allows for the management of these services on a large scale. Also in 2013, the Hope City project was created in Ghana by Ghanaian President John Mahama. The innovative project focuses on expanding information and communication technologies with the hope of improving Africa's global information network. The creation and implementation of both Conaz Techno City and Ghana's Hope City aids in bridging the gap between developed countries and Africa's ICT space. Despite the African government's efforts to bridge the gap, Africa's ICT space remains substantially behind compared to developed countries. Yes, the funds from Western countries has helped Africa to improve the ICT space. However, Africa has become reliant on these funds. This means that Africa is constantly exposed to Western products, materials, media, and technologies. As a result of Western dominated information, Africa suffers a loss of cultural identity. One way to combat this issue is to translate those sites to the local audience, to the most popular language of those regions. Panserif believes that, these measures will permit to reduce the cultural dependence of African states from more developed Western partners and to construct a self-reliant information society based on the culture and national identity of African states. Unfortunately, Africa falls on the bottom of the class system, which means that on top of receiving garbage information, African communities suffer from a lack of, or if any, access to information. In 2016, the UN announced that access to the internet is a basic human right. Which is fair enough, because could you imagine living in a world without internet? Today, most of us rely on internet for practically everything, especially access to information. In Africa, many communities, particularly in rural and remote areas, do not realise the advantages of access to the internet. Therefore, they do not really feel the need to have access to information and communication technologies. More needs to be done in Africa to improve the digital literacy and understanding the importance of the internet and ICTs. 
On top of this, ICT infrastructures are underdeveloped and affordability of ICT devices remains an issue in African regions. Even though Africa still remains behind in the global ICT space, there is hope to bridging this digital divide. According to the report Digital in 2018, African households have seen the fastest growth of internet penetration. The report outlined that the number of internet users in Africa has increased by 20% since 2017. More affordable technology is making its way to rural communities in Africa, and the African government is working on expanding its ICT infrastructure. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to hear more from me, the links to my accounts are below. Bye for now. Thank you.